why hello there, as Obi Wan Kenobi would would say to the delightful General Gre General Grievous, I should say. There we go. Got there in the end. We're playing more Korean War today, and what we're going to be doing is playing a South Korea versus North Korea. I'm going to change this up to hard difficulty and see if they play ball against me, and if I actually do get a, a sufficient challenge. <sighs> oh dear, it's not even it's not even late here, but I'm tired. Go for that Paladin tank, because why not? No, I don't think I'll be able to build it anyway. Also, for your information, I play with a mod known as the Zoom mod, which you can find. And it is quite useful. Let's me zoom out quite a lot and zoom in an incredible amount. It only, it only costs like one megabyte of space. It's a really, really small mod. Yeah, and it's pretty handy. I recommend you download it. Let's get some troops. Let's pop some of them over there. War factory. Let's take this a bit more seriously. Why so serious? Uh, we probably want to lock down that area as well. We get a little force to start us off. Probably want a few more dozers. It's running a bit of money. Mm, strategy center. Let's get one helicopter, go on. Uh, we want to lock down this area. Probably want a few more dozers. They're still not really building any offensive units. They are upgrading their base. Maybe it's the thing where they don't build anything. So I don't think I have to do anything with the script folders. So I'd say after this video I'll either, I'll either peruse and see if I've made a mistake. Which wouldn't surprise me. I'm quite good at making mistakes. Look at my life. Let's get a few more supply out centers. Well, they've got to have some infantry, but they're not really making any offensive units. Now I thought they would just start building something by now. We start all technically in the early phase of this game, so we might not see them come at me with too much in the way of forces. Yeah, you do get quite a lot of room to build your base in if you're conservative. Uh, where can we go? We've got a nice little assault force here now. He's building a lot 
lot of turrets. But he's not really building any vehicles, what I've seen so far. So as long as we start arranging that our Fema Jiggy will be okay. few of those troops in those buildings. Let's get another supply drop sewn just to increase my income even more. And we'll just keep building up a decent sized army. Probably want to get about double what I've got. I've not seen any vehicles. What the hell is that? A Sam site. Maybe I do need to muck, muck around with the script soldier, which is fine. That just means we get a third video we will. Of me playing in South Korea. Because obviously I want to show off what we get to play around with when we're actually facing against, I believe, attacking North Korea. It's Golden Race is it's Quite an interesting map. There's a lot of choke points you could be attacked from. I suppose if you garrison this area with a lot of infantry, you could be quite uh, you'd have quite a defensible position, really, unless you were to be flanked far from the left or on the right. But it gives you two different approaches, essentially, what to do. And we got a nice little assault force now. Pretty nice little screenshot for the for the thumbnail. Yeah, and he's still not building any. Okay, it definitely seems like an AI related issue. So I'll have to check that out, I will. Because he's got defences. He's got quite a few defences. But if I, if I was to be sensible. To actually win this, all I would need to do was just build loads of artillery and just bombard the crap out of him. Because it's all good having all that are those defences, but if none of them you've got no units to push out against artillery, this they're, they're just going to get destroyed. Essentially, it's a pointless exercise having them. Frequently, that's what probably kills me when I'm playing against difficult AIs. Let's Whatever I've seen play against a very difficult AI, that's normally seems what trips me up. It's a use of artillery, which I can't seem to counteract. Those are falcons. Yes, I think we will just push out and probably kill this AI. Uh, oh, that range though. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of resources by the end of this. 
Right, my planes are still being killed. It's delightful. Yeah, still no enemy vehicles. Cool. So. No, I'm going to try and show a bit of tactical now. So I go for a two-pronged attack. Probably just setting out fire to its death, but that is fine. Two nice screenshots, why not? They want for new effects. Oh, absolutely beautiful with the weapons. Park effects, I'm a fan. Hey, what's building a nuclear missile silo? Overall, though, quite disappointing that this has not transpired the way I thought it would. I will read the readme bar again just to see if there is anything I missed out. Or maybe it's just these AIs you can play as, but they haven't got actual well, functioning AI in terms of building units. Why not? We'll send some more units here, all right. And there we are, only really taking minimal casualties. I know you're doing the classic. Realise the cucking has happened and they're still in the units. Right, cool. We'll probably do another episode as South Korea. Because I want to see if they actually, North Korea, will build units against me. I'm intrigued. But anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check out the Korean mod on ModDB. And have a great day, whether you are in the world.